Hey, what's up, guys? As you can see right here, I've got the Aero Video exclusive uh, version, limited edition. Is it limited edition? Yeah, limited edition of the Nightbreed or Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Um, I have not seen this film. I have heard mostly bad things, actually, <laughs> about it. Um, I actually have no idea what it's even about. I, I don't know anything about it. I knew it was being released, and I thought I liked the cover art. I liked some of the artwork that came with it. And uh, Clive Barker did Hellraiser. I like the Hellraiser films. He did other things, too, but that's the one I think he's more known for. Or not, I don't know. But uh, And I figured, what the fuck, I haven't bought a... Um, uh, uh, UK version of these this of uh, Aero Video in a while. I think the last one I bought was um, well, I guess I don't know. I haven't bought one in a while, so I figured why not? I don't like this little sticker here. I mean this thing here, but I think it might not be on the, the packaging, so that could be cool. But anyway, I figured I'd do an unboxing and showcase. I don't know how many people actually bought this version. Um, I don't know if this is a really popular film. I have a feeling it's not. I know this this character. I've seen this guy multiple times in artwork and shit. Um, and I've seen this image before too, so I don't I don't know anything else though. So I figured, what the fuck? I'll just open it up on the camera and show you guys. Like I said, it's coming out. I think it comes out um, Tuesday, right? The 29th. Today is Sunday. I got this yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to unbox it until now. And I'm probably not gonna put this up on, on YouTube until probably Wednesday. But um, you know. So when, when, I, when you're actually seeing this, it's probably already released. Hold on. I'll put this over here. All right. Now, oh, it's not. Oh, cool. It's just one piece of tape. Ah, nice. There is no sticker here. I like that. The black, the black, the back is blank. Which is kind of lame, actually. You couldn't put anything on the back. That's kind of dumb. This material is that usual, like, cardboardy feel. The, um... American Wolf in London I just bought a week or... Well, I just received a week ago. Um, had a different material. A little bit nicer, more of a... Not glossy, but a softer feel. I don't know. I don't know how you call it. Um, this is the normal um, box you'd see from... Um, Arrow Video. Hold on. I guess I could look at this first. Maybe they should just keep this on the back. Otherwise, it just seems really weird. To not have this. Otherwise, it's just blank. I don't know. I don't like that. I think that's kind of weird. So anyway here, there's a synopsis if you want to read it. I mean, I guess I could read it. Uh, from the mind of writer-director Clyde Barker, the macabre visionary responsible for Hellraiser and Candyman. That's the one. I actually think I like that more than Hellraiser. Because I've only actually seen the first Hellraiser. Well, no, I've seen the first two Hellraisers. Um, I have not seen anything after that. I have the Scarlet Box that has the first three, so I, have to, I should watch that soon. But uh, anyway, Candyman I watched for the first time last year, and I really liked it. And they're making, a, not a sequel, but a, a reboot or something with uh, Jordan Peele, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, let's see. Comes Nightbreed, a nightmare-induced fantasy set in a world like nothing you've ever experienced before. One which will leave you questioning who the real monsters are. Whoa. By night, Aaron Boone, uh, Craig Sheffer from Teen Wolf, I guess? I don't recognize him. Um, dreams of Midian, or Midian, or I think it's Midian, a hidden subterranean world where monsters have created a haven from humanity. Under pressure from his girlfriend Lori, uh, and Bobby from Born of the Fourth of July, he attends psychotherapy sessions, unaware that his shrink, Dr. Decker, Videodrome director, Chrono, David Chrono, oh really? Cool. Isn't that who this guy is? Is this Dr. Decker? I think I read that. That's pretty cool. I forget that Cronenberg sometimes acts in films. Uh, is setting him up to take the fall for a series of violent murders. Convinced he no longer belongs in the human world, Boone goes in search of Midian, not realizing that the real killer has plans for both him and the colorful cast of outsiders who call call it home. The victim of studio interference and an unrepresentative... Wait a second. Yeah. The victim of studio interference in an unrepresentative marketing campaign... Nightbreed was poorly received by critics on its initial release and failed to ignite the box office, but has since undergone a radical reappraisal. Arrow Video is proud to present two versions of this depraved cult classic, the studio-approved theatrical cut and the reconstructed, reinvigorated director's cut for the ultimate nightmarish viewing experience. And these are all the special features on here. 
business credits down there too. What year is this actually? 1990? Okay. All right. You could pause that if you want to see it, but uh, there's that Dr. Decker, I think. This is the um, booklet. I recognize that guy's face, yeah. So I've seen imagery from this film, but I've never seen the film. So there's a couple essays in here and then the transfer stuff. And Cool. Just look at the poster quick, I guess. So this is the current artwork. This is the new, I assume, new artwork. Okay. This is on the cover. Oh, shit. And the back is that fucking creepy Dr. Decker with that really creepy fucking mask. I agree. And it has disc one is the theatrical and director's cut, and then there's nothing behind it there. And then this two is the be the bonus features. Cool. And there's a flyer here for um, these films, and then this other thing that has that uh, um, Arrow Films, Acad Arrow Academy, and stuff. But yeah, usual shit. And it's got alternate artwork on the back here, which I'll just go ahead and switch. Lori thought she knew everything about her boyfriend. Lori was wrong. Nightbreed, from Clyde Barker, the creator of Hellraiser. So I assume this is the original theatrical poster. It's kind of plain, but that's, I guess, good enough. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, 120 minutes. I know that, um, well, I don't know. I guess if you want to, you can pause that and look at it, if you want. But I know this was released on Blu-ray from uh, Screen Factory a few years ago, and they released a big, a regular edition, I think, which was the director's cut, I think. Is that right? And then the, the bigger set held the theatrical cut? I forget now. It must have been the other way around. It had been the director's cut, which was the big set. There was a huge set that had, like, special bonus features, the director's cuts or theatrical cut, and, um, uh like a, an extra bonus disc and like a big box, a case and some, uh, I think poster cards and stuff. I'm not, I don't remember, but I remember there was a whole ordeal about it being, um, like, um, it was being sold instead of the theatrical cut or some, I forget what it was. Some people's director's cuts or the limited edition sets were sent to people who ordered the regular set or something like that. It was a huge fucking debacle. And the, I mean, again, screen factory really fucked that up, I think, or shop factory, I guess, technically. But, um, that's all I know about it, but uh, that's pretty shitty. So yeah, but, I mean, I, I don't have anything else to say about it because, like I said, I haven't seen it. But uh, I guess I'm looking forward to it. Maybe I'll look. At, I'll actually read these. Um, high definition presentation of the 120 minute director's cut, transfer from original camera negative, and the 102 minute theatrical cut. That's actually 18 whole minutes different. That's pretty long, actually. Uh, master audio, uncompromised 2.0 PCM audio on the director's cut, uncompromised 2.0 PCM audio on the theatrical cut, subtitles, all that shit. New audio commentary uh, by critics Adrian J. Smith and David Flint, audio commentary on the director's cut by writer director Clyde Barker, restoration partner uh, Mark Allen Miller, introduction by the director's cut by Clyde Barker and Mark Allen Miller. Uh, walking the line between heaven and hell, the new a new video interview with critic Kat Ellinger. Memories of Midian, 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 whatever it is, I don't remember. I don't know. I'm saying it right. New video interview. So usually with these sets, I'm noticing it's really mainly maybe an auto commentary and then a bunch of interviews because those are a lot easier to do than like do a whole thing on the special features or I mean like um special effects or uh, that kind of stuff. But I guess what else are you gonna get? You know, you're gonna talk to the cast and crew. But uh, not that I'm complaining, because it's still cool. Um, 
And then the usual shit. A document. Is this new? Making much of the documentary and the film's creature designs. This is not new, though. That's that's old. That's still cool, though. Like I said, I haven't seen any of this, so either way. So this is all other stuff that's been released. So multiple documentaries on here. That's why there's a second. There's a separate disc. And this is region B, and I'm pretty sure that means that it actually is region B. There are some, at least I think so, there are some Arrow video releases that are region free, even if it says region A or B, but I, I'm pretty sure that I read this one was actually region B. But then again, I don't know, it hasn't been released yet, so. I guess I can try it on my player on the current setting and see if it plays. But, um, I assume it won't, but anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this was not quite as, um, I guess, fun to watch as like maybe some other ones I've got because I haven't seen it, so I can't talk about it. But I'm uh, looking forward to checking it out. It is almost the end of the month, so maybe I'll try to get it in before Halloween just to get it in for the 31 Days of Horror. I'm actually keeping up with it. It's been really fucking difficult to watch a single movie a night, which is I did not realize it'd be that hard. Well, I knew it was hard. It was hard last year. But uh, for some reason this year, it's been even harder. So it's been really hard to... I'm, I'm, up, I'm keeping up with it, though. I've got just a couple more days left. Um, in fact, I think... One, two, yep, there's four days left? As of right this second. When you see this, it's probably going to be one day left. Because I'm going to put it up on Wednesday, I think. Because um, I'm actually out uh, from work from Monday and Tuesday. I usually upload this at work. Which is fine, but I don't care. Um, it's not a big deal. And maybe I won't even upload this, upload this at all. I don't know. Maybe I won't. This is kind of dumb. This entire thing is dumb. So I uploaded it because I didn't give a shit. You guys can enjoy it or not. If I didn't upload it, then you won't care that I didn't upload it at all because you don't see this at all. So, Anyway, that's it, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for more Steelbooks and stuff that are coming out. There's more Screen Factory shit coming out next month. And next month, obviously, is Black Friday, so you'll probably see some, at least one video from me next month with um, Black Friday shit. So, Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, if you watch this. <laughs> And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching and bye.